Hey everybody, this is Walter with Access Electric and today I wanted to talk about how to make a concentric bend. We're going to talk about how we get our developed lengths and how we make our marks so we can get our concentric bends made and we're going to do that on this bender right here today. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to make a 20 inch radius concentric bend with our first conduit. So what I want to do first is find out what my developed length is going to be. To make a 20 inch radius conduit, or uh, uh, to make a 20 inch radius concentric bend, we're going to need more than 20 inches of conduit to do that. And the way we find that out is by multiplying our radius by half of pi. So if you think about half a circle, half a circle or 180 degree circle is pi. So we're, we're doing a 90 degree bend. So we're going to use half pi, which is 1.57. So we're going to take our calculator and we're going to take our 20 inch radius times 1.57. So 20 inches times 1.57. That gives us a developed length of 31.4 inches. Uh, 31.4 inches um, and we're going to take the 31.4 inches and we're going to divide that by 17. Now we're going to make 18 marks but we're going to have 17 gaps. So we'll take 31.4 divided by 17 gives us 1.84 inches between our marks. 1.84 inches. So we're going to take about one and seven eighths of an inch between our marks. So I'm going to start my first mark about six inches from the end of my conduit. So we made our first mark at six inches from the end of our pipe. And now we're going to make our 17 marks that are one and seven eighths inches apart. So we'll make our first one and we're just going to go down our pipe, making each mark an inch and seven eighths from the last mark. And we're going to make that 18 times. and 18. Double check our marks here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have our 18 marks, inch and seven eighths apart. And now we're going to take this over to the bender and we're going to begin to make our concentric bend with our first conduit. So we're going to make 18 five degree bends. One degree bend or one, one bend for every one of our marks. So we're, let's start with our first one. All right, so now we have our second conduit and we're gonna mark it just like I did the first one. We're gonna make our first mark six inches off the end. And then we need to figure out our developed length. So we'll turn on our calculator. We're gonna take 23 inches times half of pi, 1.57, equals 36.11. And we're gonna take that, we're gonna divide that by 17 because we have 17 gaps and 18 marks. So 36.11 divided by 17 will give us 2.124 or about two and an eighth inch mark. Two and an eighth inches between our marks. So we're gonna do 18 marks at two and an eighth a piece. So here's one and two. Should be 18 marks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 marks. Now we're going to take this over to our bender and we're going to start making bends.
So here we have our two bends here on the table. We have our one inch, which is at 20 degrees radius. And we have our inch and a quarter, which we bend at 23 degree radius. And we have them side by side here. And so that's our two concentric bends. So that's how you do it. You take the radius of the bend times half of pi, and that'll give you your developed length. And then you, you mark your developed length, uh, either every, you mark, mark it nine times for 10 degree bends or 18 times for five degree bends. It kind of depends on how far apart your marks are. The farther apart they are, the, the, more, the, more, the more marks you're gonna, have to, you're gonna want in your bend. Um, that way you're not ending up with, with a lot of uh, jagged bends on your pipe. If you put them pretty close together like we did, we did 18 five degree bends, the pipe is nice and smooth all the way through the bend. Uh, so that's how you do it. Concentric bends with an electric bender. Thanks for watching. If you like this channel, give us a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification to get notifications of whenever we put out a new video. And until the next video, have a great day.